had to watch him get beat up on TV because that was please, that was what was on on the channel. So, um, we feel, like I said, we feel really bad for him, and I guess he's Bailey. Everybody, <laughs> Bailey and Emily. That was really cute, I have to say. Enjoy yourself. This is a celebration of the civil liberties our parents and grandparents won and our dedication to say we will never again, we will never give up those civil liberties and we'll fight as hard as we can, as long as we need to, to make sure that we have the right to speak, the right to assemble, and the right to protest. Thank you. I worked for 30 years at Queen's Park. For 14 of those years, I was part of the negotiations that led to the Constitution Act of 1982, and I helped to write the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. <laughs> Section 2 of the Charter states that freedom of peaceful assembly is a fundamental right of Canadians. Right. 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 Section 7 of the Charter states that everyone has the right to be secure against unreasonable search or seizure and not to be arbitrarily detained or imprisoned. What about the prison camp on Lakeshore? The Torontonimo Bay prison camp crap that they held me for 30 hours when the lawyer that I talked to in there told me they could only hold me for 24. Um, they wouldn't have read me my rights unless I asked. Most people didn't get their rights read. I asked to have my rights read. They didn't give me my phone call until 20 hours later. They uh, barely gave me any food and water the whole time. There was no beds. It rained while I was in there. It rained right through the roof. Uh, there was dirty studio paint on the floor that ruined everybody's clothes in there and made everybody uncomfortable. Um, and also when somebody who called their lawyer had their lawyer come down and uh, the cop tried to keep it a secret that counsel was there. They tried to have a still call and make phone calls. They tried to keep it this big secret that there was actually counsel in the building. And when I finally got released at 30 hours and I was uh, out front and I was being aided by people out there who were helping everybody who was being released, uh, the police were standing right across the street being really intimidating and making it feel like I was just going to be right put back in jail. So uh, I got a ride home and then I'm, now I'm trying to get some, something out of this, hopefully. For real, for real, and you know, I've been on the Toronto Truth Seekers mailing list. I noticed that there was a message sent out, uh, free speech in the New World Order, with some images of the megaphone, Toronto Truth Seekers megaphone. Uh, what happened to the megaphone? Okay, uh, pretty much right when they arrested me, I even asked if I could keep the megaphone, and they said, yeah, we're going to keep it as evidence. And then I was sitting in this bus booth that they had, that uh, they had me in, and I was watching a cop outside of it holding it, and he was just standing there, slowly smashing the, the thing off the ground, the, the speaker box, and then, uh, like, right in front of me, slowly, so I knew it was going to break. And then uh, he just dropped it right down in front of me, looked at me, and fucking stepped on it. And fucking, that was bullshit, because they should at least keep my evidence intact, for one. And that's my stuff. And what are they gonna, how can they break my stuff that's uh, damage of property? So when did you get the picture? Oh, right after when I got out, I took the picture, because I got it back in my evidence bag. They gave you the broken one. Yeah, they gave me the broken one back in an evidence bag. <laughs> I got it back, but it was broken. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have some important questions. You are under arrest. Now, if you haven't heard me, I'll say it again. Crimes were committed against humanity. Innocent people were being arrested and detained. 
because of a conspiracy to commit a crime. We have important questions where one billion dollars was spent of taxpayers' money. Where did it go? Who got the money? Was there conflicts of interest? Which companies? We need a breakdown. We need to know where our tax money went. We got some important questions. Why was there a man that had an amputee leg? He had it ripped off him. And it was a weapon? Are you kidding me? A man on one leg hopping, they made him hop into a van. This is criminal intent. We need to ask the important questions. Is this drop hey, for asking you? Hey, 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 no. Good 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 up, good up, All right. This drop five years ago, Turkey didn't beat me up. Look, look. I look what I did last year. Air car. Uh, police because of the now. human rights office. G20 police put people in the back prison cells and threatened them with rape. <laughs> G20 police denied people water and medication and held them for longer than 24 hours. G20 police used unlawful force against people such as amputees and people in wheelchairs. G20 police trampled people with horses who are peaceful protesters. G20 police are more like robots than people. <laughs> G20, O Canada. Put it on YouTube. I shall be traveling from this northern realm as Queen of Canada. A country whose wholehearted commitment to the United Nations throughout its history is without equal. Oh, in Canada, that's, that's something that's yeah. the same Canada right <laughs> but as I constantly remind Canadians, there isn't really a Canadian economy anymore. It is a global economy. This is in Canada right now? No. Wow. wow. <laughs> Paying off our debts at the same time. Uh, this is Goose Island 312 beer from my hometown of Chicago. And uh, David, I understand that this is Hobgoblin from the Witchwood Brewery in Whitney, in my distinction. And so uh, I advised him that in America we drink our beer cold. So <laughs> he has to put this in the refrigerator before uh, before he drinks it. But I think he will find it uh, outstanding. And uh, I'm happy to give that a shot, although I will not drink it more. It's 5.2%. You um, you can have it cold. It's all right. All right. But, um, but I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the cap still not on that pyramid? It kind of looks like an American dollar bill. That's an Illuminati symbol. 